in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside Ladies the octagon, here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Bazooka. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, it's a city of dreams. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body.
Ali going for the head kick. He misses there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, Slips to avoid the right. Superman punch. Circling towards the left now. Big kick land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big head kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Checks the leg kick. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Punch him in the back. Nice leg kick land. Looking to land the leg kick now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Body kick is blocked. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, nice right hand. Just misses there with the left. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just misses with the jab. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go. Second round, straight ahead. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to straight combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Nice kick. 
Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Misses with that punch. Circling away towards the left now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good jab. Just missed with the left there. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Swing and a miss by Lee. He slips the punch. Gets caught with that punch. Way to hide that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Lee. Final seconds here of round number two. Ooh, what a punch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, 
you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Good heart. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. How about that chin? Caught the kick. Nice strike. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, throws a straight punch in the hand, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Dig and kick. Roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting him up now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Right hand on point. for that right hand. Right under the elbow. Right. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch there by Lee. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Look at him working. Shut the limit out. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He misses with the right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. 
Oh, huge block! And lands flush with that right hand. Final seconds of round three. That was not the Nice guy. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. What a punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, and he caught the kick. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a huge block there. Powerful leg kick land. Nice punch there. Going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Wow, what a head kick! Just misses with the kick. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, that's a nice strike. Table inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Just over two minutes to go. Leg kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Effective punch there by Lee. Absolutely punished by that head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Changes his stance. Can't take many of those, you better check. You gotta check these low leg kicks. He's 
hurt bad. goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. It's such a fast leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big knee lands to the body. You don't know oh. that leg kick. Landon with conviction now. those five minutes? All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Beautiful strike. that jab once again. in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Lee's right back to the full mouth here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. There's some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just misses with the kick. Push your hands up, use your footwork now. It's okay. 
90 seconds to go to decide this one. What a tricky head kick. Whiffs on that offering. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, line. big left. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fight. the full mount. <laughs> 30 seconds to go here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon wins! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.